You guys think it's possible to do uh, round 100 deflation with Benjamin? Let's find out. So apparently people have already done 100 on deflation without alchemists. I'm not sure if they didn't use, if anybody did not use Gwendolyn to beat round 100, but here's my first attempt at it. I'm going to try Druids plus uh, Alchemists plus Benjamin. Benjamin should be a lot better in this mode because one, you don't get money from Pommin Balloons in Deflation, so he gives you a lot of money that way, or his abilities are very powerful in that way, since Trojan does not have a downside. Guys, it's been a while since I've played Deflation mode, so I don't quite remember what the correct round 100 strategy is, but let me do this. We'll get Camo, but not yet. Let's actually play the round first. Because here's the thing, I'm going to leak the camo so that of course we get like the max buff from the druids. Free dot monkey. Yeah, not yet guys, I understand. I'm fully aware that I had this free dot monkey that I can use. Yes, cock got nerfed, but cock was not really necessary to beat round 100. It was only necessary to get like the highest round ever, which was like round 120. DDT's how? Yeah, you bring up a good point. Maybe a camo sub. I don't know. Should we get a 4-0-0 camo sub? That way they all get you camoized. Oh, tough decision here. I don't know. Yeah, there's also one I issue. Uh, the alchemists might not be reliable for giving you like lead detection on all these guys. Okay, we're like 8 lives off. Let me just leak this, this round and then we'll think about what to do for the DDTs. Because right now, in our current situation, we're going to be screwed for those. Mib, I can't afford it. Or can I? No, I can't afford it. A little bit too much. Uh, I'm thinking spamming 2 zero, zero alchemists. Hold on. Let's leak this. That should be, yep. Close to perfect, although not quite. 7 lives overboard, but we're Gucci. Here's how I'm going to deal with DDTs. 2 zero, zero. On strong, doesn't really matter, I don't think. Uh, can I place more? No, I have to sell this. Sell. We still have 1368 to spare. And can I spend all that money on another 200? Zero, zero? Let me see. Like, I don't know if this is going to be enough to beat 95, but can give it a shot. Now we got four alchemists giving us lead popping power. If that ain't enough, I don't know. Oh, lives are going back, fuck. Guys, we have a problem, guys. Our pop lusts are getting weaker. Because Benjamin is fucking silver. <laughs> Can we disable Benjamin, please? Okay, this might be a lot harder than I thought. Maybe we shouldn't use uh, druids. You know what, if this doesn't work, we'll use boats. It doesn't affect druids, are you sure? The way druids work is that... It looks like the lives you've lost. Like, if you have 200 lives at the start, and then if you're down to 100 lives, you get the max attack speed. But once it goes back up, if you gain lives, it does lose the attack speed. It's not permanent. It depends on, like, the lives you have. So, at the end, we're gonna get, go back to 200, and then we're gonna have, like, 0% attack speed bonus. Here's 63. Okay, here's a good gauge to see, uh, how much we are struggling, and yeah... I, it definitely does look like we've lost the attack speed. Look at this. Wait, can we even beat 63? Hold on. Do I have to use this ability? I might have to. Jesus. Please don't tell me we're actually dead. You gotta be kidding me. Okay, that definitely lost attack speed. Let's try boats. There's no way uh that's gonna work. So much for saying Benjamin is great in deflation, he ends up doing that to us. Just because of the life giving. Now you guys know, don't use druids in combination with uh, Benjamin. Don't. I don't know if we should get a cock because it's been nerfed. I guess if this does not work, we'll get another cock. 2449, okay. Can we reach it? I, I can't tell. No, it's a little bit out. Uh, let's see if this works though. This guy lacks camo detection, which might screw us over, but we'll give this a shot. I don't know if it's gonna work. I kinda doubt it. 
Maybe 3 zero, zero sub, yeah. If this doesn't work. Or, or here's the catch. If we can't make it through a round with this village, we will sell for the sub. I don't think we lose too much out of this. Maybe like 500 bucks. I think we should be okay. But again, we still have to beat 63. That round might be a pretty big issue. Yeah, maybe in my dreams. In my dreams. Even if I sell one of these, or two of these, I cannot even afford it. Too much of a money sink. I don't know, I feel like round 100 will be a little too tough. Like, I mean, like, the actual round 100. The level 10 ability will not work on the bad. I am 99.99% sure about that. So we only have to rely on the boats to beat it, which is kind of... tough. I don't know, I don't even, I don't even think we'll get to round 100. So let's not talk about the bad. We might not even get there. It just feels like Gwendolyn is so necessary for all these runs. I don't know if we can replace it with Benjamin. Let's see. Let's see how easy this is. How much of a difference these boats make versus Druids? <laughs> Look at that. Don't need to rely on the double attack speed of the Druid. I think we are set up uh, pretty nicely for late game, aren't we? Uh, here's 78. You see, this guy won't attack because he's not under range of the village. I kind of messed this up. Let's see how two boats fares, though. I think we should, yeah, we should still be fine. Does the little 10 ability actually uh, downgrade DDTs? I haven't tried it. If it doesn't affect DDTs, then I lied about Benjamin being good on deflation. He's no better than Gwendolyn in that case. In fact, Gwendolyn is uh, way better. If that's the case. But yeah, I'm pretty sure we're dead to like... 95 for sure. There's no way we're beating 95. Just hit level 15. Cool. Three DDTs. This is so bad, guys. This is... F wow. That is terrible. That is more than terrible. We can't even beat it. We're done. Mib will not work. It's way too expensive, okay? You really want to spend half your money on deflation for a tower that can't pop shit. Giving you only 10k to deal with? Nope. Don't even bother, guys. It's not gonna work. The only thing we can try is this. We're dead 93 for sure. Let's just try to beat round 90. Okay, there's 90 completes. The thing is, we just need more. Like, these guys can't pop leads. Is there really anything here? Gwen is a lot more useful than I thought. Okay, here's 93. Let's downgrade. You will see it does not affect DDTs. At least I don't think it does. Nope, doesn't. No, it does not, sir. Let's use uh, his ability. And you'll see that we can't beat 6 DDTs. It's just not doable. Like, with this setup, we, we don't have enough lead popping power. That's really it. I mean, we're kind of close, but 95, not a chance. Let's try another loadout. We'll try the 402 wizard this time. So, um, 400 Achmes. This will buff the two closest, aka these two. Uh, 402 wizard. Arcane spike. 320 monkey buccaneer. 300 sub, so that it can decam Y7 DTs. Therefore, giving this guy the ability to pop him. Benjamin, yes, and the free Dark Monkey. I get it. I get it, guys. You don't have to keep telling me. Let's put it in the corner here. Away from the Alchemist. And there we go. And will this beat round 100? Well, we'll find out in 20 minutes. A few inches later. 420 Temple. Can I place that right now? Oh, I can. No, not, let's not do that. <laughs> let's not invalidate our round 100 uh, deflation mode. We can actually place free instos here. Gonna be a level 15 by round 90. Not a good look, not a good look. DDTs. This is what I'm really curious about. Because we need to beat 95. Should be pretty easy. Oh, okay, yes, yes. This is good, this is good. 3 DDTs, no problem. But 30 DDTs, how about that? 93. Should I use this? Nah. Let's see if we can beat this naturally. Without using both abilities, by the way. 
So 60 ATs. Uh, not bad. So far looking pretty good for 93. Or 95. 95 looks doable like this. Especially since we can use the this ability, number one. That'll make the wizard a little bit stronger. Not too much stronger because it already pops a lot of layers, but... Good enough to me. You know what? I actually think we need this guy on, on first. Not strong. Mostly because, uh, yeah. You need to take care of the balloons first before anything else. Let's use this. How about 100? I think we're fine. Oh, purples though, yeah. Camel purples. Forgot about the camel purples, but I think our destroyer should be enough for those. I hope. So many purples this round, or camos. Okay, let's use it now, level 2. Just so all the mobs turn into nothing. Okay, let's use level 1 right now. I think first is still the way to go. I hope. This this round might require like more than one restarts. Like, just looking at it right now, we might have a lot of issues. I see a lot of issues, I mean a lot. I don't know. Okay, maybe on strong is good. Yeah, strong. Uh, this round's kind of tough. No, we can't do this, right? No. I don't know. Yeah, we have our ability off right now, or this thing working, so we have less mobs that spawn, but still. DDTs are a huge issue. Do I just leave it on first? But we just don't have the popping power. We, we just don't. Let's use it now. The superpowers. Plus two layers. Oh no, this is not beatable. I need the cock. No, it, y if you use the unstable cock, you can't pop the DDTs. Or all I know is that uh, Arcing Spike is not the solution. A little too expensive, it doesn't do enough for ya. You just really need Gwendolyn for that, uh, for the lead popping power. No Gwen is impossible, really. Has anybody used uh, a non Gwendolyn hero to beat Deflation Mode? Because if they have, then that would be really cool to see how they did this, but... For right now, it's looking like we can't do it with Benji with, with this loadout. It just takes too long, and there's just way too many, man. Too many DDTs for me. So nobody so far has done non-Gwen, huh? On deflation. So, so far it's impossible. Or nobody's done it, at least. Good to know, so that I don't feel as bad. I don't feel as bad that nobody's beaten the uh, Grand Hunter deflation without Gwen as hero. And that just goes to show you, man. Gwendolyn is the best hero, no doubt. Anybody who says otherwise is wrong. Churchill can only get to 98 as well. Damn. Gwen to OP.